Good morning. In today's Golden Hammer, there's a headline, Magnolia resident riles up local politician, Commissioner Riley, makes him post his own bad voting record on his website for the whole county to read. Just one lady, Ginger Russell, known as the quiet lady from Magnolia, has distributed several thousand flyers in Commissioner Precinct 2, West Montgomery County, which are imperiling the re-election efforts of Team Keogh, the three members of the Montgomery County Commissioner's Court who lead the corruption on the court and who are finding it difficult to respond to her criticism. Russell is a longtime conservative Republican political activist. Boy, that's no joke. Single-handedly, Russell has printed at her own expense and distributed several thousand yellow flyers to voters' homes in the West County area. Montgomery County Judge Mark Keogh has previously admitted that Montgomery County has and deserves the moniker the most corrupt county in Texas. The flyers specifically criticize Precinct 2 Commissioner Charlie Riley, who is running for re-election against a strong opponent, business lady Jennifer Eckhart, in the March 1 Republican primary election. The damnation of the flyers, however, is bleeding off onto Precinct 4 Commissioner James Metz, who has gone along with all of Keogh's and Riley's outrageous tax dollar spending schemes and who also faces a tough re-election battle in the Republican primary against opponent Matt Gray, who enjoys support from the business community sick of Met's absenteeism and failure to complete already funded road projects. Riley has attempted to respond to Russell's criticism both on his campaign website and in a mailer specifically addressing Russell and the issues she has raised. Strangely, however, Riley's responses actually admit to the criticism, but merely try to rationalize each of the wasteful mistakes and expenditures. Riley's flyer has raised 10 points. Riley, Keogh, and Metz have endorsed each, each other for re-election. Keogh has repeated that he wants to keep the same team on the commissioner's court. I guess he wants more corruption. All 10 of Russell's criticism, there, therefore, apply to all three of them. This article discusses the first five of Russell's criticisms. Tomorrow's article will discuss the second examples of financial wrongdoing and mismanagement by Riley, Keogh, and Metz. Russell's criticism number one, they voted in favor of a resolution supporting and honoring homosexual and transgender adoptions. Oh yeah, that was on November 14, 2017. The, the Golden Hammer broke that story. Russell's criticism number two, voted in favor of an $85 million TX249 toll road in Magnolia when TxDOT would have built it for free. Yeah, I remember when they said that. Anyway, can't wait to read the rest of it.